Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Elise and today I'm going to be talking about the Dyson Corral. Just to give a little bit of background, this item retails for around $500. It rarely goes on sale. Ulta recently released a coupon um, like very late in July for 20% off as I was expecting. So I finally was able to snag the Dyson Corral. I used my points um, from Ulta plus the 20% off and I was able to get it for around $150 compared to the $500 price tag. So I kind of did the rinse and repeat of of what I talked about in my previous YouTube video about how I got my Dyson Supersonic for almost 83% off. So to just jump right in, it comes in a box like this. It is very small compared to the Supersonic box and that's because it only comes with a heat pouch or a heat um, travel case versus like that large leather carrying box. The box is really nice. It has their typical Dyson branding and on the back you can see um, all of the different features in it um but what i really like is on the front how it shows the difference between one side of your hair being curly and then the other side being straight so my hair is not as curly as the image on the photo but this is what it looks like and i want it to be relatively straight it doesn't really matter if it's pin straight but i just want it to be a little bit more manageable um so i've always done a lot of these things like keratin treatments to try to smooth my hair out and reduce the frizz all right guys, so I went ahead and unboxed this and I fully charged it. Upon initial glance, I know that this is a wireless, cordless hair straightener. So, you know, it has to have a battery pack in it so that you can use it. Um, but it is really heavy, I would say, like so much heavier than the other hair straighteners I own. But I guess the trade-off is with not having a cord. So the one thing I will say is when I'm demoing it, I'm gonna be really interested in seeing if it's very uncomfortable. I know some people have said that in, on YouTube that it's uncomfortable to use for a long period of time. But when I went to the Dyson store, the sales associate actually told me that, you know, when you're doing your hair, most of the time you're going, doing a pass, putting it down, and then brushing another piece. So it shouldn't be like 30 minutes of fully like going in with this on your hair um and so that's why it shouldn't necessarily be that big of an issue but we'll see how it goes i like this pouch it's really sleek it's heat resistant so you can kind of you know finish up put it in the pouch and go but the one thing i will say in terms of criticism is the portability of this especially when there's so many other moving pieces is a little bit difficult so with the dyson supersonic they have this large carrying case so it's you know a trade-off between the size of the case and being able to carry everything and organize it well it's very sleek very lightweight very cute but if you have if you're traveling and you want to carry the stand and you need the power cord to charge it if you're going to be gone for a couple days there's nowhere to put it so at that point you kind of have a lot of moving pieces in your so luggage or something like that or you have to remind yourself to carry them so i wish they would have just included like a little bit of bigger of a travel bag so you could include the power cord it is very heavy it's like one of those dyson uh vacuum cords so you just want to make sure you don't forget it but that's my only main criticism of the packaging at this point i had and turned it on i'm going to just um, adjust the temperature so it can go from 330 to 410 i'm going to do the middle temperature to see what that can do on my hair um, it's charging up, so I will go ahead and stick it on. It just made a little check mark beep, so it's ready to go. To brush out my hair a little bit, um, I'm going to add in some heat protectant, and then we can start going. Start going. Basically, I just brushed it out so I don't have a lot of knots later on when I'm trying to straighten it out, but you can see it's starting to poof like a lampshade a little bit. Um, I'm going to add in the Chi heat protectant spray. Out. especially on the ends you want to make sure that your hair is not gonna fry so we're ready to go at zero I'm gonna turn the time on so you can start to see it's running This is the other side. I mean, it's relatively straight. I didn't perfectly try to make it pin straight, but that's exactly what it looks like. So let's move on to the other side. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess in about six minutes, this being the end result of my hair is not bad. I mean, I didn't want it pinned straight. If I did, I would have taken my time and went through each individual section very slowly. So then the ends would be pinned straight, but this is really my ideal. I like this because there's still some volume here. There's no frizz. There's, it looks relatively shiny and healthy. Um, and at the end of the day, like this is a really quick, easy to go solution. Um, so I'm just going to turn the hair straightener off, but I will say that in just using it for five minutes, that's what the battery life looked like. So it's not perfect, but I think that it does the job and I'm really happy with it. I think, you know, over the course of my lifetime and using it, I'm going to get my money's worth, but I will say that it is really hard to kind of bite the bullet and spend $500 on this. So if you're able to get it on, on sale or get any kind of discount on it, I definitely recommend, you know, if you shop at Ulta to use your points, um, because there's no brand exclusions on those. And again, I will link my video on how I got my Dyson Supersonic for 83% off. And then I'll just share a little bit of information on how I redeemed points and everything at Ulta to get this for $150 in the description below. So if you really enjoyed my video today and you'd like to watch more product reviews, please subscribe before you leave or give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon.